So hi guys and welcome to your uh, dose of whiteboard investing. So uh, we are currently on date 13th of December. I hope you enjoyed your holidays uh, for the people in Kenya. Uh, it was Jamhuri Day yesterday, but anyway, let's dive straight into it. So today we are going to, we are expecting uh, the core inflation data, uh, which is a CPI, uh, month over month uh, in the, for the month of November uh, and CPI year over year for the month of November. Now. If you check here, this was uh, in the month of uh, October. Uh, this is what we are expecting. So, uh, in the month of October, the core CPI for the month of a month was 0 0.6. Okay. Uh, and CPI for the month of November, uh, the whole index was 8.2. Uh, so, as you can currently see, uh, now in the month of November, when the data was released, you can remember when the, when the market started having a reverse. Uh, the market was going down, but the, since these numbers, you can see uh, the numbers reduced significantly from 8.2 to 7.7, .7, from 0 0.6 to 0 0.3. Uh, now, uh, you, you, you saw the market reverse uh, hugely. Uh, it's because of now uh, the policies that the Federal Reserve, the Fed was implementing, uh, started working. But now, we, uh, this data will be so important today because if this number, now this is the number to check, if this number happens to increase from 7.7 .7 to 8%, and if this number goes from, let's say, 0 0.3 to maybe 0 0.5, we might be set to see uh, tomorrow's meeting in the FOMC. Uh, you might see this meeting tomorrow, the Fed say, you know what, uh, we were about to slow down on the interest rate hikes, uh, from 0 0.75 basis points to 0 0.5 basis points but uh, we are currently seeing that we still this inflation that uh, our consumers are, are facing is still not slowing down as fast as we want it so we will continue the aggressive interest rate hikes until this number starts slowing down steadily so that is one case scenario but if this number goes from 7.7 .7, let's say to 7.2 or the expected number 7.3 or if this still remains the same but if this number goes from 7.7 percent .7 to 7.2 percent in the month of november then expect to see uh markets to continue to rally the stock market we, are, we might expect to see rally and now the, my favorite thing to check the dollar index now the dollar index affects uh, both currencies and commodities so if uh, we get a good reading from this, I uh, expect to see uh, currencies that are, are poised against the dollar. Some of them will go up, but you really need to understand which currencies are, are these. They might have a high interest rate differentials. They might have uh, different interest rate differentials, but uh, because of the data that is going to come out today, you might see the dollar being beaten or being defeated or strengthening against some currencies and commodities so i'll be keeping my eye on this so this is just a brief overview on what to expect uh in this uh coming uh day so i don't uh, i think in kenyan time you're going to be getting them at 4 30 p.m if i'm not wrong uh this is the time that this data will be going to be released so you expect to see a lot of volatility in the market but apart from that this is how everything looks like from my point of view Anyway, uh, see you then.